this is Matt Sam and welcome to our first interview. Uh, we will have an interview with this lady right here. She will reply some questions about uh, Poland. Poland overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just some brief um, thoughts from me about living here. So just want to share with you my experiences and my thinking. Okay, so have fun watching her. I tried to take it as an adventure. So I was thinking like, mm, I know it's gonna be pretty similar living standard as Taiwan. And uh, it's more like a mysterious European, mid-European country. Very, very different from uh, those Western countries like France, uh, UK and so on. I've been there as well and it's very different. Right here it's um, very very it's more like up to Eastern European living culture including foods and including how people interact with each other. We will talk about it more in next time maybe uh, but I will say people are very very nice to foreigners and also the living standard is very good. Food, everything clothes, everything you need, everything you want, you can find it here. I like um, food, I like alcohol. It's not cliche, but really like in Poland about alcohol, let's say drinks, uh, lots of choices from very light beer for girls, like fruity stuff, it's not for me, but we got lots of them here and also like dark beer, porter and anything you like, any kind of taste you got everything and food is like Polish food somehow it's a bit similar to Taiwanese food so it's like sometimes you can find your hometown taste uh, inside Polish food so I think these two are the favorite thing of me in Poland oh, and the scenery like uh, in winter it's snowing it's very very gorgeous. It's like snowing so much that you just feel so happy you're living in such a white world. <laughs> so I think these three overalls are the things I like about Poland. So people are very very friendly to me if um, they're your colleagues, they're your classmates or if they know you. So they will do their best to invite you to the party, invite you to their meetings so you get closer to each other you don't feel the boundary between each other, between people but if it's about strangers, like people on the street, people in the shop uh, I will say overall people don't speak English that much so sometimes at this you will find it difficult to communicate with people but if you do know a little bit of Polish, just like hello, thank you uh, I want to buy this and that and people are like those grannies, those aunties they're very nice to you, smiling to you and try their best to, to be friendly to you so overall I like people a lot here first of all it's so obvious about internet habits because in Taiwan people are so addicted to internet and we're just holding our phones and using it all the time but here, uh, phone is more like something you need to communicate with each other so people are not really that addicted to internet I improve myself a bit when I come here but I confess I was so addicted to Facebook and so on Yeah, so for this is like a huge difference between people Yeah, people tend to enjoy their life privately instead of uh, publicly yeah, so like we make pictures of all of our food before we eat it but in Poland it's like you just enjoy the moment, that's it so it's like a huge difference, a huge culture shock for me in the beginning and uh, second of all is the eating habit well everything is about food but <laughs> it's like um, in Taiwan I think in lots of countries we eat three meals per day so breakfast, lunch, dinner but in Poland most probably it's like two Two meals so breakfast which is like a normal small portion even just anything very light food sandwich and for the second meal will be dinner already so Polish people eat dinner as our concept of lunch plus dinner so you eat it at 3 p.m. something like that and late night 9 to 10 p.m. you eat some small snack 
as a supper. So this is totally different than my um, eating habits. Our traditions is so so different. So in the beginning, I wasn't so used to it, but right now I'm pretty up to it. It's just late night. I'm still getting very hungry, <laughs> like always. I will. Uh, I will say if you want to live abroad, um, especially if you want to live in European countries and you don't want to live in a place that everybody goes, everybody already knows everything about it, so Poland is really a nice choice. Uh, like I say, it's in middle part of the Europe, so Poland actually absorbs some of the Western culture and some of the Eastern culture, so you can feel like Definitely because of the old buildings, old towns, it's the European looking and also lots of modern skyscrapers that is about the views, landscapes and about the whole living standard you've got a nice flat, you've got trams, metro so it's really really like a very convenient place and totally different than Asian culture so you feel like you grow up more living in this kind of totally different country it's like you're reborn and you experience your life once again so I will definitely um, invite you to even visit or just trip or even want to work study here it's really a special place and it's really fun to learn such a difficult language that is also another plus so I would really recommend people to visit here come and visit me Hope you like this video. We will make another one for you, another interview. Yeah, and next time it's going to be more delicious turn about his thinking about Taiwan. Yes. So look forward to it. Hope you like this video. Please like, like subscribe, and comment, comment below. below. We love you. See you. Bye bye. bye. bye.